Okay, let's go ahead and get logged in. I already have an account made and I have looked around a little bit. So um, I'm not gonna walk you through how to set up an account. You can figure that out for yourselves. You're in nursing school. We are gonna first look at the pre-nursing content. So let's get to that. Okay, so here's our dashboard. On the home page, um, the first thing you see is you're gonna get a little welcome from John Hawes. I've already got this content um, up here because I was working through um, some things, but this is the basic layout, okay? So this is not gonna change. You're gonna have your question of the day up here. It's always gonna give you, I think every time you log in, it's gonna give you a different um, practice question. This is gonna be a longer question. It's gonna be something you're gonna read through. And at the bottom here, you're gonna have a citation. You get to answer this question and it's gonna give you an answer right away. Now, I'm not gonna read through this long question, so please don't come for me. I'm just gonna pick one and it's probably gonna be the wrong answer, but I just want you to see what this looks like. Oh, I got the right answer. I am so good. Um, but anyway, it's gonna give you the right answer and it's gonna give you um, all NCLEX questions on this particular section are going to tell you what the rationales are, why each one is wrong, why each one is correct. Now, whatever um, NCLEX style questions you're doing, regardless of what point in your nursing career you're at, pre-nursing, in nursing school, getting ready for the NCLEX, always read all rationales. Even if you have no idea what they're talking about, read your rationales because you're gonna pick up information as you're doing this. So read why a question is wrong. You might glean some information that's gonna help you down the road. It's gonna tell you how many people are answering this question just so you can kind of compare, see where you're at, and then you can rate the question. Um, obviously, if like every single person that's taken this question says it's a crappy question, you can kind of gauge whether or not this is, uh, whether or not you're f with the flow of everybody else. Now down here at the bottom, study plans, I really like this. And this study plan I think is gonna follow you through all for paid uh, types of content. So I'm gonna click on this here, create study plan. There are two ways you can go. You can either go through this filter section here and you can pick, pick and choose um, by course, by concept or by book. So I'm gonna pick a course. I'm gonna pick random human growth and development. You can scan through, you can pick which things you want to be in your study plan. So if you're just focusing on one chapter in class, you can put just that in your study plan and it's gonna help you just focus on those questions and that content for that period of time. You can go back in, you can delete that content and change it as you go through your classes. So like I said, you can filter by course, you can filter by concept. You've got all these different things here that you can look through. And I mean, really, the lists are comprehensive. You've got so much here. I don't want you to get overwhelmed with this stuff because really you're just gonna follow along with either what you're doing in class, what you're studying, what you're struggling with. Um, you can even go by the book. And I love this because we all know we've got that dreaded ATI, um, You've got all the different ATI books in here. You've got Potter and Perry, which my school used. You've got Taylor, you've got Iggy, which we also used, and Lewis. These are the, the big fundamental nursing textbooks that most schools use. And so you can pop into there and it's gonna pull content directly from those books. So this is really great. Okay, so I'm just gonna pluck some things out of here from these books. I'm just gonna pick a few. I'm not even gonna look really at what they are. I just kinda want you to see what the study guides look like, okay? So I've just pulled some things. You can name your study plan. So I'm gonna say Adrienne's first week. Um, you can pick a due date. So I'm gonna pick a due date of, um, let's just say I wanna pick a due date of like a couple weeks from now. I'm gonna save my study plan. Okay, so now, oops, hold on, let me back up. I clicked too quick. So now it says how many days I have remaining, how much I've gotten complete correct answers so you can go through now this study plan we're going to go into this a little deeper but you can see underneath each study plan here where i'm 
where I'm pointing. It's going to tell you how many questions you have. It's going to pull from Picmonic, which I didn't know about Picmonic when I was in nursing school. I've since learned about it. We'll get into that a little later in the video. If you don't know about Picmonic, you want to know about Picmonic. You've got cheat sheets. If you look down here, we've got care plans, case studies, mnemonics, images. I mean, and we're going to go into more detail with these, but you've got all of these extra supplements. So if you are a student who likes visuals, if you like memory devices, if you like reading care plans, you've got all these different ways that you can go over this content and supplement however your brain works, however you're best going to retain this information. Up here, you can share your study plan. So you can literally take this URL, share it with your buddies if you guys are all kind of working on the same content. Um, now, one thing that I don't know the answer to, I don't know if you can study this with other people that are not also members of nursing.com um, and this paid content. So that I'll have to look into. If you know the answer, please share that down in the comments. Um, but I will try to follow up with that and find out if this is the case. I'll try Actually, let me see if I can. I'll copy that and I'll see if I can share it with a friend. So I'll do that a little bit later in the video and try to remember to get back to you on that. You can also, um, you know, you've got edit, share, delete. You can do different things with this to, you can go back, edit your date. If you want to push it back a little, change, you can reset the whole thing. Are you sure you want to reset? Yes, I want to reset. Okay, so you've got your study plans. This is great. So we're going to go back to our dashboard. Okay, so that's kind of our, our first page. So we've got all of our, and it's gonna retain our study plan here, so that's gonna stick with us. So now we are gonna go into the next tab up at the top here, which are our courses. Again, don't be overwhelmed, but look at how many things we've got here. Okay, so this is focus on pre-nursing. The content you're gonna see more as we get further into like nursing school and NCLEX prep. But there are a couple things that I wanna to touch on here. The two that popped out at me immediately was the HESI prep and T's prep, because these are the two tests that a lot of schools require to get into nursing school. I had to take the T's, I didn't have to take the HESI, so I'm not as familiar with the HESI, um, but you see we've got 29 T's lessons and we've got 49 HESI lessons. So my understanding, the T's, um, it's basically like an overall aptitude test, testing you in things like basic language, math, sciences, and if you click on T's prep, so up at the top here, it's going to tell you which instructors are involved in delivering these prep courses. Um, you've got a little introduction here. If we click on this, we've got a little video here that's just going to be an overall introduction. Um, you can now the print button will make sense later because this is just the introduction but as we get into the longer videos you'll see there will be a description that has like the actual like outline um, you can add these to your study plan and you can click this little checkbox when you've mastered it and you want to note that like I've got this I don't need to review this anymore we're good to go okay so I'm gonna back up a little bit actually I don't want to back up that far so let's go in here. Now you've got this long list of lessons. This can get overwhelming. So what do we wanna do? We wanna collapse some of these. Now these are broken down into modules. As you can see, we've got biology. Um, we've got A and P. We've got math. I'm just collapsing all these so that we're not quite so overwhelmed. And then we've got language arts. So I'm gonna click on identifying key ideas and details in reading. So now you'll see here, if I click on show more, we've got an outline here. We've got some references um, that we can link, click on here to go to the web. I'm not gonna click on that. We also, if you click this arrow, we've got the whole video transcript. So maybe if you're somewhere, you don't have your headphones with you, you, don't, you can't have the volume on where you're at, you're in the library or something, you can actually just read what they're talking about what they're saying in the video. So as the plans, the lessons get more in depth, these overviews, these summaries get longer and you can actually just print them. So that's where this print function, func <laughs> this is where these print functions come in handy. Um, again, you can click 
this little check mark for mastery. Um, and then this little function over here, I really love. I'm a fast talker. I'm a fast learner. I like to speed up um, how fast because sometimes when people are talking slow, my ADHD, my mind wanders. So I like to speed things up. On the opposite end of things, if you want to slow the, the, the lesson down, if the, the person who's giving the lesson is talking too fast, you can slow it down and um, absorb things a little better at your own speed. You can also drop the quality. Maybe if your internet speed isn't that great, you can drop the video quality so it's not taking up so much of um, your, your data. So, but you've got all these lessons here. It'll track your progress through the lessons and you've got all this different content to go through. So this is the courses portion of things, tons that you can do here. And let's see, I wanna go through something that maybe has a little more meat to it. You can see here as we look at some of these, like this one has a couple cheat sheets. Let's take a look at this and look at one of these cheat sheets. for a second okay so we've got our video let's look at this cheat sheet Erickson's stages of development so these are actually really nice cheat sheets they're colorful they're bright they're really easy to read um, ages stages and characteristics we all remember this those of us that have been through school stages of development that's one and I I love the nursing um, nursing.com cheat sheets they as they get more complex they get really, really nice. The ones on different um, pathophysiologies and things like that, those have really helped me. Um, even now as a nurse, I like having some of those because I'm like, can I get these in a badge card? Because, and I think they do make badge cards. They are so valuable to have when you have a patient come in and you're like, I know I've learned about this diagnosis, but I haven't had a patient with this for a while. I really wish I had one of those cheat sheets on hand. These are great to have. Um, and then we've got this Picmonic. I, like I said, I didn't use Picmonic in school, so I just recently signed up for, um, a free account, but, like, I'm kind of an old lady with it. I don't really know how it works, so I don't have full access, but for those of you that have used Picmonic before, it's pretty awesome from what I can tell, so, um, I'm not going to go through all of that, but you do have access to Picmonic. Picmonic um, features here and then again the whole video transcript okay so we've kind of beat that to death let's keep moving I know I'm moving at a rapid pace slow me down if you need to uh, you can do that with the video controls below okay let's click on the cheat sheets portion of things because this is where I as a visual learner really benefit the most so we're looking at cheat sheets here. Let's click show more. Oh, I love these. Now, because I personally have access to all four modules right now, yours might look a little different if you only have one or the other. So I'm not sure how much different it will look. So let's just click on this one right here, pituitary gland. I'm gonna click on this cheat sheet. Let's see if I can get this to come up. I also have a pop-up locker on, so let's see. I'm gonna download it. Oh, here we go. Look at this beautiful cheat sheet. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. Oh, yes. I mean, this is as gorgeous as a textbook, even more gorgeous than a textbook because some of these textbooks are old, right? Um, I mean, you've got the whole pituitary gland here. I just, I, I'm a nerd for beautiful graphics like this. You've got this great chart, breaks it all down for you. I mean, honestly, this is, this is really valuable. I think this is great. Breaks down your hormones, functions, locations. Um, it's got that great NRSNG branding on it. I love these. You can print them, you can download them, save them to your iPad. You can annotate them. Um, I love these. You can rotate them. Um, I'm a nerd. <laughs> I love this stuff. I really do. So um, let's go back. That's enough looking at that. Really, these are these are, these are great. If you're a nerd like me, you should be nerding out right now. Okay. And then last um, tab underneath this particular section, 
is the practice questions. This is the stuff that really I'm going to drive home to you. I tell all the students that I tutor, take as many questions as you can. Take questions when you're waiting in line at the grocery store, when you're taking a poop in the morning. You, we all Come on, we all know we're on our phones when we're in the bathroom. Um, take questions when you're like in between commercials on your favorite TV show. Just be doing questions all the time. I tell um, my students that are doing prep for NCLEX, you can easily knock out 100 questions a day minimum. Do 25 in the morning, 25 at lunch, 25 at dinner, 25. I don't tell people to do them before they go to bed because obviously you want to get good sleep and not be on your phone phone right before bed but you can easily find three four times a day when you could knock out 25 questions um this is great because you can specify how many questions you want to do what categories you want to do i happen to have hesse and t's um selected in these so um you can select what you want to focus on. So if you know you're really struggling with your math, with your chemistry, you can focus on those or whatever top, whatever categories. It'll track your performance. I haven't taken any quizzes, so or I guess I I guess I I answered two questions, um, but it'll it'll keep track of things for you, so you can see your progress. You can actually see yourself getting better at things, and then it'll track your past quizzes. Um, Really, this is what you want. You don't want to come out the gate and be like, I'm amazing. You want to see progress, right? You're not going to be perfect at this at the start. So um, just a little bit of work over time is going to pay off. So this is the pre-nursing part of things. Um, it may seem a little overwhelming at first, but I guarantee working through something like this is well worth the money. And then looking at all the free content on top of it um, that they have on YouTube, and their website. I mean, I really think that this is worth the time, the money, um, and the effort to, to actually spend time on this. There are very few um, other apps that I've used. You know, I tell people, yeah, it's great. Use all the free apps you can find. But this one, I really stand behind this product um, and this company because they've been around a long time. They've helped me through school. Um, they've helped me really feel like I am not just like memorizing. I'm actually retaining information and the information that I don't retain, we've got these lasting resources and they're just, it seems like they're just picking up steam. And then, um, one thing that I also want to point out, uh, which is a big perk for me is that I love it when companies not only put out a good product, but they have good people behind them and they have a good message. So I want to point out here at the bottom, at nursing.com, we believe that black lives matter. No human is illegal. Love is love. Women's rights are human rights. Science is real. Water is life. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. I think these things are important to me. They should be important to you and they're important to nursing.com. So, um, this is great and uh, just stick around for a little bit longer. I want to tell you about how you can get uh, this pre-nursing content for yourself. Thank you for listening. When you are ready to sign up, you can go to my personal link, which is bit.ly slash nu sent me. You can click the link in the box below and get signed up right away. You're not going to regret it. And if anything, you are going to do so much better in school, your NCLEX, whatever it is you set out to do. So thanks for listening and happy nursing, everybody.